Okay, so what I'm going to do is spray it with this mold control and treat it first before we put it down. Okay, I apologize for my hair. I got a little warm in the garage for the hat. So we have sprayed down most of the pieces of wood with the concrobium and now it needs to dry. It's a little bit cold, it's Utah in December. So outside right now, I believe it's in the upper teens. In the garage, it's a little more warm, but what we did, I'm gonna walk this camera over here. We brought in these heaters that we can turn on to get some warmth going on in here and see if we can get them to dry a little bit better. Next, while we're waiting for that to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and go through the tape measure and measure out two feet on each of these uh, one by twos that we're gonna use for the frame and the floor. Looks like my son's getting comfortable. Um, so I'm gonna just mark them with the pencil for now. I'm just really trying to fill some time while these boards dry. Oh, here we go. All right, so here we have this stuff called Noiko. It's a brand of Rattle Trap, which is another brand. And basically what it does, because we're in a big metal container, it helps muffle sound and rattling. So it's textured and you need to make sure your surface is really clean. Most people put it on the wheel wells and then in all these little spots on the wall, which is what we're going to do. Um, and it has an adhesive on one side. You put it on here and then you get a roller and you roll it down to all these little bumps are smooth. We don't have a metal roller. Ours is rubber and I don't think I think it gives too much give on the foil. It's actually harder to push down than it looks. So we're using spoons to try and smooth it out. And it's working somewhat, it's not terrible, but this is what it looks like before you rub it. And this is what it's supposed to look like, smooth. So we're lining it up as best we can. Obviously it's a weird shape. And then you pull this up slowly and just kind of roll it up onto the metal, making sure to get all the air bubbles out as best you can. And then go over it with a roller and in our case, a spoon. <laughs> Sealing in all the holes with some silicone caulking. Like yep. To make sure that moisture doesn't get in there somehow and mold. You want to seal up all the cracks and crevices. We are back at day two of the flooring. You can see I've already made a couple of cuts down there. I'll take her walk around here and look at those. I decided so we were gonna try to lay them the same direction as the van, but I discovered that there isn't enough space in between these little ribs to get the one by two that we want to use for our flooring. So I'm gonna have to lay them perpendicular to the van. We'll have to go on top of these little ribs, which will create a little bit of airflow underneath. It's not a huge deal and it's actually a little bit beneficial because I plan to take a really small tube from our heater and have it plug kind of plug into the floor so that if we want we can pass some nice hot air into there to dry anything out if we were ever to get a leak but shouldn't be a problem we went and sealed all of the little holes up as you shot off from Shelby last night um, so yeah we're gonna keep cutting
We set their three boards in there about 20 inches apart because we got 5 8 inch flooring or uh, some plywood for the subflooring, which is rated for in flooring about 20 inches apart. If you get the three quarter, you can do 24 inches, but we wanted to save some weight and some height because I'm a little bit taller. number four wow that's blurry we're looking at vinyl flooring we obviously want waterproof Woody likes this one it looks a little different on camera than in person we both like this one because of all the different colors in it and then I like this one so I like this one we both like this one and Woody likes this one and here on our left, you'll see Santa. <laughs> that was legit. All right, we're back. We have more wood. So we need to finish cutting out these slats and then we have to treat that. And we, we're gonna glue down what we can with the already treated wood. And then while that's setting and drying, we're gonna take the plastic board that was already at the bottom of the van, lay it out on top of the plywood and cut it out for the subfloor. Or we'll at least make a stencil from that out of cardboard and use that to cut out the subfloor. Got our masks on and we just realized that because this wood was cut, we need to treat the ends with mold spray, mold protection spray. So it seems like every time we go to do something, there's one thing that we have to either go back and do or that we miss. It's gonna be a long process. Okay, so we took all of the pieces of wood out of the van, we got all of them laid out, and some of them aren't treated, so we need to spray them with the mold spray to prevent mold. This is the stuff that we got right it's called here. called Concrobium. It Hopefully eliminates musty odors and prevents mold and mildew. Right, so this is all of the, these are all the pieces. And I don't know if I'm just a little obsessive or I just want to be organized, but I labeled each one. So it'd be row 7A, row 7B, row 7C for the short pieces going this way in the van. And then the long pieces, I just numbered them at the ends. So we can put them back exactly how we had them in there. And I know they're all basically the same size, but it just, the way we had it laid out was perfect. So we want to put them back how they were. All right, it is time for us to take a break and go eat while these dry. And then hopefully they dry in time for us to come out and glue them into the van. We really wanna get the gluing done um, tonight so it can cure and set overnight so we don't have to wait all day tomorrow for them to dry so then if it sets overnight we can just start putting the insulation cutting out the insulation in between and then put the subfloor on tonight my kids and I are going to start gluing down the frame of the subfloor to the bed of the van the cargo area it's been Going pretty well so far. We got a little bit of a jump start, as you can see. And uh, yeah, we'll get going. We're happy to take a little bit of a break from gluing because this last piece of one by two was a little bit bowed. So, we're using a lot of our weights to kind of let it sit. I mean, weights is a loose term. Um, but I think that this glue is really strong. This one I glued on just barely uh, about three o'clock today, so only four hours and it's not moving. So I think if we let this one sit for a few hours, it should probably be okay. And then I'm gonna go work on finding some more weights so that we can continue. All right, I just got off my second job and as you can see I'm leaving Home Depot that's not where I work um, 
Woody called and said they were working on the van and they needed more of this mold control spray. So now I'm gonna head home and see the progress they made. Today, we are putting insulation in the van and I've got my little helper. Say hi, Olive. <whistles> Stay inside, good girl, okay. So, putting insulation in the van, we are using this Artec insulation foam. It's supposed to be rated pretty well and work well for flooring. So we'll see how it goes. I have done some of the panels already, as you can see. It's fitting nice and tight. We do have some gaps, but I've got some gap filler that we will use to fix that. And here we go. So we just made a cut, and you can see that fits in there nice and tight, like a glove. Hey guys! I'm back. Rather, I'm here. I was editing a YouTube video. feel like I look ridiculous, but it's cold out here. And I don't it's really care. It's snow. Weird. Good, can you go put that in row two and grab row one's block? What can I help with? That. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say that's fair? Yeah. <laughs> Currently, Woody is scoring and cutting the foam board to go in between all the little spaces of the framing on the floor. It's working out pretty well. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect because you can kind of squeeze it in. In fact, I've been measuring a little bit on the bigger side so that it does fit nice and snug so we don't have to use as much of that gap filler. Smart. Which is nice. And then once these are all done in each little section, we're going to put foil tape on all the edges and then the reflectics on top. And then the subfloor, which is what these boards are for. Once we paint them and then put in the vinyl flooring. So of course it started to snow, which I'm not that upset about. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, but it's starting to pick up. So we made a little fort. In our van, we built a little, well, we put a, we just put a tarp up, but it feels like a fort. So we need to be able to keep the door open so we can go in and out. Uh, but we just used painter's tape and taped a tarp to the van. Hopefully it holds up. So we have most of the van done with, well, as far as the foam insulation goes. No, the whole van. <laughs> yeah, the whole van is almost done. Um, except for these weird pieces because they have like the janky edges. Um, and then you can't really see it but over there. And so what we did was luckily our van came with this like plastic type subfloor thing. And we took some cardboard and laid it underneath and drew around it and then cut it out. So then we're going to use that to put on top of the foam board to cut out and then we'll also be able to use this for um, the subfloors. And Woody's about to do this little cutout right here. So that's what that looks like. And I know that not all vans have this subfloor, so it's been super helpful. If you have it, obviously utilize it. Um, if not, they do have a tool, right babe, that has, you like push it into corners and stuff and it, it shapes what you need to cut out. So 
helpful really tip. Quickly, I wanted to show you that in true Utah weather fashion, while it was snowing like crazy earlier, now it's nice and sunny. Oh yeah, it's really, oh, there we go. Not sure what's happening. But yeah, this is Utah weather for you. Less than two hours has passed. Yeah. Not, probably less than an hour. Sunny and then cold and then blue skies and winter, snow and you get it. This is what we meant by putting the stencil on top of the foam board and we're just cutting it out. It'll make it a lot easier. And then you get the perfect shape. Uh, this is the edge that we're using, by the way. Obviously not the wheel well because the wheel well is covered by Noiko, but I don't know why you would need to put that on the wheel scraps. well. Right, scraps. But we use this edge now, and now it's basically perfect to put up against the wheel well. All right. Putting in one of the wheel well pieces. Did not get as straight of a cut as I would have liked. However, wifey is putting that in. Uh, it's gonna be snug. Snug as a bug in a rug? Yep. Better not be any bugs in our rug. tighter now near the bottom of the wheel well because it goes up like this yeah okay all right we got all of the foam board in except for one I almost fell except for one tiny piece right there because we had to glue down another piece of wood right here and it's gonna take a little while to dry. So after that's done, we'll put some foam board in there because this is, we're gonna have a little cubby under here and then this is where our kitchen area is gonna be. Now we need to fill in the gaps with the foam filler. And then when that dries, we'll scrape it off and then we'll put aluminum tape on all the edges and then Reflectix, subfloor, vinyl. Who knew it would be such a process, babe? <laughs> now it's time to tape all of the joints in the van. So what, ideally what we're gonna do is tape along all these edges like this, and then if any wood is showing still, we're gonna tape on the wood, and then any blemishes or cuts or dents that we got in the foam insulation, we're going to tape over that as well. I've honestly never used this before, um, it's basically like aluminum foil tape, so we'll see how it goes. <sighs> this is gonna take forever because you have to peel the backing off of the, each piece of tape, and that's what takes the hardest, the takes the longest. But the hardest part is that I can't sit sit properly on the floor because I don't want to dent the foam board, so I have to stay on the wood joists, and yeah. I'll check in with you guys when we're done next year. See how nice hers look? <laughs> it's fine. Mine it's, looks terrible. No, they're not that bad. It, it gets the job done. So I've just got a system down now. Um, luckily, we live right across the street from a Home Depot because we ran out of our first roll of tape already. 
I shouldn't say already because I got a lot done with it, but yeah. Yep, you can still see my breath. It's really cold. So, again, son Javen, son Chris, beautiful wife Shelby. We are putting the Reflectix down on the floor and we're making some good progress. That first piece went on nice and tight. We've got that whole edge taped and we're gonna start down the middle one. I think that we'll only need to do three strips wide and we have enough for that, so should be good. So I've got two strips down. Shelby is starting to tape the really long side. We've been able to do it with a single strip O tape. It's not the easiest thing in the world. We might be going a little bit overboard on the insulation and whatever, but at least aliens can't read our minds now. Well, in everything we read, people said all over the place that they wish they had insulated their floors better because they wake up and the floor is cold and you know, they want to be barefoot in the van, so I think we'll be okay. Yeah, Shelby's playing the floor as lava, <laughs> having to step on the two by threes, the little beam you can see there, so that she doesn't put more dents in <laughs> Emphasis on the board. foam board that we used for insulation. She's got a fantastic helper and the peanut gallery who's holding scissors. The day has come. Well, one of the many of the days have come. We are finally going to put in the subfloor after changing the wood three different times. We're finally getting to put the subfloor in today. I know it seems like it's been a couple days. It's been weeks. We have been working on the subfloor and the flooring and the framing and everything for weeks. So we're ready to move on to the next step. It's been step. almost a whole month actually. Yeah, I mean, mind you, it's not, just, not non-stop. Yeah, it's it's not that like we're working on every single night. It's when we have time to work on it. It's really cold right now. It's winter in Salt Lake and I've been working two jobs. So we haven't had much much time except for on the weekends. So we're super excited to get the subfloor down and then hopefully move on to the next step, which is gonna be the roof vent, which is gonna go right up there except we're waiting for a part to come in the mail, which won't be here until next Friday. This coming Friday. This Friday, yeah. 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 It's still like a week away though. Woo Sub floor is in. We had to make some minor adjustments. And now we get to screw it in, and while Woody's screwing it in, I'm gonna finish putting Noiko all over the walls. Fun little tip, I got Woody these cute wristbands. Cute. Helpful wristbands on <laughs> Amazon. So cute. <laughs> on Amazon for Christmas. And they're That's magnetic. Cute. So it's gonna help him when screwing down the stuff floor. Cause it holds all the screws and he can just pull them off instead of putting them in his mouth. And then it's got these little pockets right here. That right, uh I'll get into it. It's fine. You, you can, can put drill see, bits in. And you can put drill bits and other little odds and ends, so I'll link those in the description down below. We're screwing down the subfloor, and because our cross beams, the ones that run lengthwise of the van are really short, um, are obviously hidden and covered up by the large sheets of plywood, I took down measurements in my notes here so that I can measure across and Note that on row one, there the beams start at five and a half inches. On row, or sorry, five and a half inches, 28 inches, and 40 inches. Anyway, so anyway, what I'll do is take the tape measure, run it across, and then I'll know exactly where my beams start and end, uh, which will be very helpful. And he's still got his little handy dandy magnetic, magnetic screw, screw holder. holder. I did have to go to Home Depot and get longer screws. Oh yeah, we're using one and a half inch. One and five eighths. Oh, one and five eighths? Yep. One and five eighths inch screws. Because we had one and a fourth. One and a quarter was too short. It was a little bit too short. And so it's actually pretty sturdy. It's working out really well. Really 
not sure why I look pink, but we finally finished the subfloors, the Hi. framing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the framing for the the floor, the insulation in between, and then the subfloor on top, and all the Noiko on the walls. So let's show that to you guys really quickly. It's a little dark. I'm gonna go turn the lights on. Haha, -ha, there's light. All right. And Woody said, let there be light. <sighs> we changed out the wood three times. We had that wood, the like particle board plywood, and then did more research. Well, first we had this really thick particle board stuff. And then we realized it was too thick. So then we got a thinner version, and then we did more research, and this stuff swells when it gets wet and doesn't go back to its original shape and gets deformed. So then we got this wood, and we stuck with it. Note to self, don't go cheap the first time. Just get the good wood. <laughs> yeah, get the good wood. Tips from Woody. And we put all the Noiko on the walls. We maybe went a little bit overboard, and by we, I mean me, because I put it in every crevice. But I think it looks good. And then we're gonna work on building out this step from the other side. But it's so nice to be able to walk on the floor, huh, babe? Anyway, I think we're gonna end this one here. Remember that if you like our content, please help us out by liking the video and subscribing to our channel. Yes, and hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever we post a new one. And we'll see you guys in the next one, which should be installing the Max Air Fan and yep. cutting our first hole in our van. It's scary. Bye! Bye!